Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to iterate over the pages like this ones where you can see that there is a different number of rows on each page all the way to the last page and after that the next button is disabled and there are no more rows. How do you calculate total number of visible rows? You have to go and iterate through each tab or each page and also keep track of all the rows and at the end get the final number. I know it should be 23, but let's verify it. All right, so imagine you just want to press on the next button, like right here. How can you do that? Right? Well, you have to get the button. So say so get, and I know it has an attribute value, and it's next in this pagination example. And I can only click it if it's not disabled. So let's see how to get attribute. We can invoke jQuery method other passing disabled because that's the name of the attribute and then we will get uh, the disabled value all right so this is the start okay now we have a little bit of conditional testing which is an anti pattern but that's what we have to do in this case right if it's disabled then we cannot click on it right we can only say you know done for example else if it's not disabled like right now, it's not disabled, right? That's why I didn't print, we're done. Instead, we have to click on it, right? So we can grab the same button again, and we can click on it, right? And just for clarity, let's add a 500 millisecond wait. Okay, now we're on the second page. What do we do next? Well, we have to do the same thing, right? We have to literally do the same thing. And we can maybe nest it, creating a pyramid, or we are calling the same function. So I'll say go to next page, right? The whole code block is this, right? If we call it first time, because we have to kick it off, it will go to a second page. And right here, after we click, we cannot just say go to the next page. No, we only have to go to the next page when the click has finished, right? So we'll use van child command. And now we iterate over each page and get to the last one and we stop. Notice again, goes to the last fifth page and says we are done. Perfect. Now, how do we keep track of the visible rows? Because we need to calculate the total number of rows that we see on each page, add them up all the way to the last page. Well, let's look at the selector, open the dev tools and hover over the rows, for example. You can see a bunch of display nonce, right? and just three visible rows. So if we need to get the number of rows before we go to the next page, we'll say get me the body of a table per row, but also only the visible ones, which uses jQuery visible pseudo selector. And we'll say it should have length greater than zero. We expect a page to have non-zero number of rows. Its length, so from the jQuery object that has multiple elements, we get just the length, and then we get the count on that page. And the easiest thing is to keep the total count as a variable in the same closure. And we'll say count plus n equals. All right. And when we are done, we can get that count of rows. Let's see if this works out. Perfect. The last thing I want to show is how to look at this count and make sure that it actually is equal to 23. Now we can try, let's say, wrap count should equal 23. Let's see if this works. Well, it doesn't work, right? Because this calls count with value of zero and it will never change, right? Because the value will never change once it's passed as an argument. We passed wrap zero and it will always stay zero. So it's slightly more complicated. The easiest thing to do here is to say, okay, if we are done, just wrap count, right? Uh, let's give it an alias as count, okay? And here we'll get that count using the alias, and it should equal 23. Let's see. So we iterate, we wrap the count, and then from outside, we get that count by an alias, and we confirm that it's equal to 23, which is the true number of rows. 
Okay, so this is how you iterate in Cypress by using recursion.